Hey everybody, I'm going to do a JavaScript tutorial video today about const. Okay, so I've already done a video about naming JavaScript variables using let and uh, var, but now we're going to go over const. So the const keyword lets you declare a constant variable. Okay, this means that you can't change that value. Okay, so as just the basic example is we can re we can uh, initialize a variable. In this case, it's going to be pi, so we're going to say 3.14. Okay, if we console log that, we're going to get 3.14. But if we try to add a few decimals onto pi, we're going to it's going to throw an error, right? Because this now becomes immutable. We cannot change it. It's always going to be 3.14. Okay, now. You can change the contents of an object or an array if you've assigned it. So in this case, we're going to say const person equals an object. We'll give it a name of John and age of 30. Okay, so if we console log person dot name, we get John. But if we try and if we try to change person dot name to Jane, we can do that. Right. We're just changing a piece of this this object. But if we try to totally change the object, right, to get rid of these keys that we have of name and age, this is going to throw an error. This is not allowed. And when we declare a constant, we have to initialize the value, right? Because if it's immutable and you can't change it later, then making a variable that's initialized to nothing obviously isn't going to work, right? So this is not allowed, we always have to have some value. So in general, I try to use const whenever I can. So the default should always be const, unless you absolutely know you need to reassign it. So it's just a good practice to make everything const. And then as you're coding, if you realize, oh, I, I need to actually change this somewhere, then you can go back and you probably want to change it to let uh, in rare cases, maybe you want to use var, but in general, stick with const. It's going to be the safest for you. That makes sure uh, that you you don't accidentally reassign something, you know, not realizing it. Okay. So let me know if this was helpful. This is you know pretty basic, but I want to kind of go in order and build up all the building blocks of what you would need to know uh, some basic JavaScript and then get into some of the more say advanced things. So let me know uh, if you think I got anything wrong with this or if you have any other questions, I'd be happy to make another video or just answer your questions uh, in the comments. So have a great day.